my running shirt on because I figure I'll start the day with some exercise, but my dad just messaged that he uh, can't print a document. He wants me to come upstairs and help him, so I'm going to do that. But I didn't want to go upstairs in my bathrobe because then I'm like, uh, it's showing him like, uh, you know, we're both not doing anything today, but I'm going to be, no, I'm dressed, but my running tights were in the laundry, so I can't put them on yet. Um, anyways, I just filmed a dream summary, so I'll post that at some point. And I just got a message from a girl I knew years ago who uh, who watched my story, and she apologized that she hasn't messaged back, but she's got some issues, and because we, you know, she hasn't messaged back in a couple of years, but she noticed I have a CPAP machine, and she's asking about that, wondering what kind of apnea I have. <clears throat> so even uh, yeah, even girls I used to know, they they have same kinds of issues and stuff, and it makes me feel good to know you guys are watching this and appreciating that I'm sharing. So yeah, I'm gonna start a Facebook group today, and we're all gonna be a big community. The Berta Crescent. I wrote a number of poems um, in the voice of Sarah, Abraham's wife. I'm going to read you one of them. The images in the poem, though, are not from my imagination. The images, a lot of them, are from actually a trip I took in 1987 where I. Cialis, the secrets of penis enlargement, and the many ways to earn $500 per week in your spare time. Junk email teaches you to read between the lines, and that, more than anything, what you really want is to believe, because there's a hole in the center of the universe. Oh, and your Hotmail account needs updating. Junk email is a fortune cookie. Open it at your peril. Junk email reminds you you're an addict. Remember Deanna from Halloween? Uh, she's back in town with her boyfriend for a nice night, a weekend. And we're just walking around. I met up with them at the pub. And now we're at, uh, we're at Second Cup. And I just redeemed some points for a smoothie. My parents ordered Chinese food. Or I guess they picked it up while I was out. Uh, and then they drove my aunt home. Or my dad did. But I can heat some up. The Grammys are starting though. Maybe I should watch them. off my headphones but wait a minute it just occurred to me my headphones aren't even plugged into the phone anymore so now I can do that and now I can do this oh my god they were not wrong in grade 8 when they labeled me gifted um, anyways did anybody see the Grammys I did not I thought okay I'll look at it on my phone and, and I uh, searched the phone and it said well you can maybe watch it with uh, a Paramount Plus subscription so I subscribed to that but it wouldn't let me, and then I put a VPN on my phone, still wouldn't let me, so then I downloaded, uh, I did a trial subscription of YouTube TV, and then that wouldn't let me, because I'm not in Canada, even though I have a VPN. So, whatever. Um, somebody posted that uh, the Taylor Swift thing was very magical. I should go watch that. My friend Priscilla just messaged me tonight. She said, hey, a year ago you were in my apartment, because I stayed with her for a couple of weeks uh, when the pandemic was beginning. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, God, it's been a year? Like, where did the year go? She's like, oh, a lot happened. Uh, my son turned 18. I got my diploma in business something. Um, what else happened? There was some stuff. So, and I'm like, oh, I'm not sure what I did. God, can you think? I mean, I think about my first year of university every minute of my life. And that was just like eight months. And I've already blasted by a year of doing nothing. Can you imagine? I could have gone to college at the beginning of this in March. Last year, I could have said, all right, I'm signing up for something. But what? What would I have, what would I have taken? I don't know. Do, do you ever feel like just when you're young, it feels like every day, it's like whatever. Like my childhood seemed like it was a long time. But now it just seems like every day, it's like another day, another day, another day. And it's like, what did I do today? Is my life going to be any different tomorrow? And it's not. And then this girl, um, oh, what's her name? I don't know, I was just chatting with her, the girl from university, who was like, well, what about Beth? You know, because we were talking about, like, what ex-girlfriends I could try contacting. And I'm like, yeah, Beth's on her second husband, I think. I can't really find her. She changed her name. And she's like, you should look her up. Like, I always thought you two were magical together. And I'm like, yeah, we did have a lot of fun. We could have had a whole fun life together. And I'm like, why didn't you tell me that before? Why didn't you tell me that 30 years ago? Oh, and then um, 
I was looking at our mutual friends and I looked up this guy, Mike, that I went to, uh, we had a reunion, like university reunion, like 10 years ago or something, looked him up and I see that in 2015, he asked me to come teach at his class, teach them advertising. And I messaged, I sent a voicemail back. I said, uh, yeah, I'm just leaving my job and I'm going to Dominican Republic in a couple of weeks. But then when I come back, I could do it. And then he never replied. And I asked him, did we ever, what happened? He's like, oh, I guess... I, you know, I don't know. And I'm like, I sent you a message. He's like, oh, yeah, I guess I dropped the ball. I'm like, I could have taught a class. I could have been a teacher. I've been finding so many old messages in my Facebook, like going back 10 years, like of maybe girls who liked me. And then I'm like, we were talking or or like that girl I was saying three years ago, I was in the elevator and, and then it just never went anywhere because I forgot the message or whatever. I'm like, oh, my God, there's so many paths my life could have taken. Maybe I should have looked up Heidi from the girl I met in Europe like 10 years ago. Like, you know, maybe... Anyways, 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 all you can do is, is have new adventures every day. I don't know. I think it's time. I don't know what's, what it's time to do. Time to travel? Time to go somewhere? Drop a color says something to lift people up. All right. I can make some joke about like a bulldozer or something. But anyways, yes, I should be positive. I'm going to lift. I'm going to lift you up. That's my positive song. It says daily vlogs. Everyone's own on adventures or something. I don't know. That's not bad. I mean, maybe we all share our own odd adventures, right? Hey, would y'all would y'all contribute? Would y'all? Hey, y'all. Y'all. I'm Texan. And Charles says, supporting each other through the times we feel down. Well, uh, I, that seems to be kind of my, uh, my forte, uh, me showing everybody that I'm down, and then you guys are going, oh, it's okay, we're all thinking the same thing. Like, it makes you feel good, right? Okay, here's a question for tonight. How are you different now than you were, like, a year ago today? Like, if you accomplished a lot this year, are you a different person? Have you advanced your life? Have bad things happened? What, what's going on? How are you different?